Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on today with another Canva tutorial. Today we'll be making a um, Valentine's Day savings challenge. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to uh, leave me some comments below. Um, be sure to share my video and watch the ads that play throughout the video, guys. All right, so let's hop into it. So we're on the Canva uh, main screen here when you log in. And uh, as always, you're going to start here with the create a design, okay? You're going to press that button and you're going to go, you can type in flyer or you're just going to go down to flyer right here, which is 8 by 5 by 11 which is a full page. As always, I already have one open, so I'm just going to leave that alone, okay? I'm going to open up on the one I already have, okay? So I've already uh, made the freebie that I'm going to um, make in this tutorial. So this is what I came up with really quickly, okay? Using only free Canva elements, and this is in size A6, okay? So we're going to create um, what I've come up with here, okay? So I'm going to move this down just so I have it as a reference, and we're going to start over, okay? So here we go. All right. So elements. And click off this. And we're going to uh, go to our shapes here. Okay. Shapes is square. And go here. And make this a little bit smaller. Let's see the whole screen. Okay, there we go. All right, so measurements for A6 that I use are six by five by uh, three by four, which is a little bit larger than what most people use. Like some people use six by five, um, six by, just six by three, which I think is too short. And that's why it's always all this space in those envelopes, guys. But uh, you do what you want to do. But I like my envelopes to be more filled so you don't see all that uh, plastic, okay? But um, we're going to do six by five by three by four. All right. All right. So we're going to go to our color here. Okay. We're going to change our background color to my brand colors. Okay. So I have my brand colors um, picked out over here. So these are the colors I use all the time. So this going to be my background pink. And I'm going to go here and do border style. I'm going to pick this line here, do a border, okay? Border weight is going to be 15. All right. I'm going to click on the box next to it that says border color. And I'm going to change my border color to my um, darker pink that I always use, okay? I like that. All right. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and type in elements again. I'm going to type in Valentine's Day, okay, because I need some icons. Okay, now I'm going to press graphics, okay. And I'm looking for free elements only because this is for a free Canva account. So if it has this little crown here that says pro, you can't use that, okay. Let me delete that. So I'm going to go with this bear right here. I'm just going to start with him, okay, because he don't have a pro element, okay? So I'm going to put him onto my thing right there. Then I'm going to press this see all button right here because it says magic recommendations to see what else is in this box that goes along with this bear, okay? And like I said, they got this little box of chocolates. But like I said, I don't like the way that looks, okay? This little heart balloon is okay. You can use that if you want. Lock and key. They got these little two hearts right here, okay? I chose this Valentine's Day little card to add to mine. So I'm going to put it over here, okay? And then I also chose, like they got this. You Like I said, you choose what you want, guys. Like I said, these are all free, no pro account, you know, pro elements and stuff. So 
you choose what you like. And like I said, I just kind of like looked through the list to see if there's anything that caught my eye. And then I went to the, got these balloons as well. Okay. So there we go. So I got my three icons. You can have as many icons as you like, guys, I guess. You know, I would say no more than five, but normally I do about three icons per challenge or so, depending on the size of the challenge, like with A6. Um, this is going to be a roller save. I'm only going to do three icons because it's an A6 size and it's small. Okay. So we get our three icons basically on the screen now. So we're good. Okay. So I'm done with that for now. Okay. So now I want to make sure I'm going to size my uh, icons. Okay. Like I said, you just want to make sure these are smaller than um, one inch. Okay. So these are that's six by seven inch. Just in case you want to, like I said, you want to put, put scratch off stickers on it, or this is just a rolling save, guys. But just in case, you know, somebody buys this and they want to just convert it over to a scratch off, just go ahead and make sure these icons are small enough for scratch off stickers, okay? Because that's what I do. Okay, but as long as it's smaller than one by one, you're good. So now we're just going to duplicate these. And like I said, most um, A6 challenges that I've seen might have about 10, less than this scratch, maybe about six, about six to eight scratch offs on it, but I do 10 on mine, okay? <laughs> so here we go. I'm just gonna duplicate these icons. I'm gonna do it exactly like I got mine down here. Click on the icon, press duplicate, and move on right here. Okay, click on icon, duplicate. Duplicate, drag the icon over. Okay, and then the last one is a balloon. Click on icon, duplicate. Okay, so we got our icons on our challenge now. Okay, so we're, we're good. Okay. Tap the battle, it's done. Move these down a little bit so I have more room for my title. All right, there we go. I'm going to um, ungroup this, and I'm going to steal my logo like I always do to make sure I don't forget to put my logo on there. All right, so if you don't have a logo, too, guys, um, you can just put your email address if you're, like, just starting out, if you don't have a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and put my e email address on the bottom of the challenge as well. I'm going to go to text, uh, add a subheading. And I'm going to um, double click in the box. Well, highlight all the letters and stuff and start typing in my email address. Okay, like I said, it's always very important that you put. Um, where stuff is coming from for people that's opening up your challenges on their channel so they know who it's from, okay? So they can tell people if they decided to purchase your challenge or something. I'm going to just size that down, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of my challenge down here. I usually put mine on my actual border like, th like that, okay? So I'll, I'll sight out of mine. Y'all see that? All right. All right, so now we need the uh, title to our on the heading. Okay, so let's go back to text. Okay, we're gonna do add a heading. Okay, and like I said, I usually come up with a more clever name for a title, but we're just gonna say Valentine's Day Savings. Okay, for the basic people, <laughs> Valentine's Day Savings. All right. Here we go. So let's let you know it's a savings challenge, okay? So let's do our colors. I'm going to have a white text. I'm going to come back and change that in a minute. Sometimes it don't change right away. You have to click on it twice for it to change sometimes. Okay, white text. All right. Now I'm going to come up back to my toolbar. I'm going to press effects, okay? I'm going to do outline. I'm going to make my outline color, uh, I'm going to do this red or this pinkish red that's in the color of these um, icons here, okay? So just like that. And then I'm also going to change my font to my uh, signature font, which is Moon Time, okay? Which I got it typed in here. 
You can use whatever font you like, guys, and stuff like that. But I like Moon Time. I use it on all my challenges. It's the easiest. And like I said, I don't I don't have time to be thinking about fonts, guys. Okay. I don't do that. I don't, you know, obsess over fonts. Okay. Then we're gonna add another um heading. It's gonna say add a subheading. I'm gonna move this right here. Now I guess I'm just gonna type my directions for my challenge here. I'm gonna set amounts for icons. Roll and save that amount. All right. I'm going to make it onto one line. And then I'm also going to change that color, uh, text color, into that um, color I just changed to Valentine's Day into. All right. And then, like I said, I'm going to put my uh, icons up here, make them smaller, one of each, or where you can write your numbers in. Like I said, it's real hard to get stuff on A6, guys, because they're so small. So, like I said, I'm not going to put the equal signs and all that stuff on there because it's just write it in with a permanent marker. I'll leave a little bit of space in between each icon, okay? Like I said, I, said, I don't know about y'all still use A6 for saving challenges, but to each his own, okay? <laughs> But yeah. And let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit better, okay? So yeah, just basically leave a little bit of space so they can write however much they want the icons to be, okay? So you can write a number there, okay? And that's it, okay? So now we have a save a challenge. So so we just we just done it, guys. We're done already. Ain't that amazing? Okay? So now you have an actual Valentine's Day saving challenge. And like I said, that didn't take very long. So I'm going to go ahead and make the A5 too because y'all already know that I don't deal with uh, A6 like that. But we're going to group this together. All right? All right, so let's go ahead and start over because, like I said, it didn't take very long. I'm going to go ahead and make A6. I'm going to add a new page to this, okay? I'm going to just duplicate the page so I know what I'm looking at. So duplicate page, okay? I'm going to um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this challenge right here. And I'm going to do it all over again, okay? So you can see how to do A6, A5, I'm sorry, okay? I'm just grouping all this stuff together, guys, so you can move your whole challenge down because I'm going to need more space to, uh, for the A5, okay? The A5 is half of a page. All right. Elements. Mm, let's see. Look out for that. Back your arrow, click off of that, back to shapes, okay? And you can see these are the things we just used, so they're going to be in your recently used list, okay? In case you lose those icons, okay? Click your shape. All right, 8 by 5 is for the measurements for the A5, okay? All right, say so eight by five. All right, make sure it's said eight by five. Okay, we're gonna change our colors to our brand colors. Okay, so we're gonna do our light pink for our background. Click on the border, the line, border weight is gonna be fifteen. Click on border color. Okay, we're gonna do our other pink just like that, or whatever your signature colors are going to be, or what colors you want to use. All right. All right, back to click off the border. Okay, go here. We go back to our recently used elements up here. Recently used, click on it. I should take it over there. Okay, like I said, keep these under um, one. Okay, so 
with the height. Okay, we got six by eight. We're gonna do it like that. Okay. Click on this one. The teddy bear is over here. Okay. See how big it is. Okay, that'll work. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put twelve on the A six here, uh, A five. Okay, so like I said, that's what most people is gonna give you for icons on these things. Okay, and like I said, you can add a scratch off sticker to these. I'll leave it open, you know, leave the option for people to add scratch off stickers so they're big enough. Okay. And because, like I said, I put about 18 to 21 icons on my stuff, guys, okay? But, like I said, I'm extra, all right? But like I said, there may be a lot of icons for you. I don't know. But I like to have a lot. Right, let's see what I'm missing. Or these. So about four of each of these icons on here. About yep. Make it even. It's a little smaller. All right. I'm going to move these down just a little bit so I get this title on here. All right. Same thing. Text. Add a heading. Valentine's Day. Savings. Brush it up to one word. All right. Put it up here. We're going to change the color of our font to white. We're going to effects, outline, change this color to this little pink one, red one, okay? Font, moon time. All right. And then, like I said, it's a Shalana signature font, so I bet I see it on y'all stuff. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys, okay. I'm going to come up here. I need to steal my logo. I'm going to ungroup this down here, so I take my logo on my stuff. Duplicate. All right, I'm going to do add a heading, subheading, okay. I'm going to type uh, set amount for icons. Roll and save. So like I said, if you're going to sell it as a scratch off, do scratch and save amount. Okay. And you'll add scratch off stickers on it prior to, you know, selling it. That's the, like I said, you shouldn't be selling this for free elements. So I keep telling y'all that, but um, to each his own, though. Okay. If you decide to sell challenges, you should be using pro elements, okay? Like I said, I know it look all right, but like I said, this is something you can do on your own, so you shouldn't be selling stuff that people can sell, you know, do on their own by your, you know. It just don't sit, it don't sit right with me. It will sit well with me, okay? Selling stuff for free icons on it. So that's why I said this, like, this is why this type of stuff is a freebie in my shop, okay? Because you're using free elements. Like I said, you can do this yourself on Canva, okay? All right, so that's that. 
I'm going to go ahead and put another subheading. I'm going to add my email address this time. Like I said, make sure you add if you don't have a logo um, where people can find you. Your challenge as well. All right, it's on there. All right, the last thing we need to do is make our space for our icons where you can write up the amount in and stuff. And like I said, with this one, because this is a little bit, I'll, put, I'll still put it up here. I might make the title and stuff a little bit bigger on this one, though. Make more pronouns, okay? Because it's a bigger challenge. Like that. Okay. So there you go. I mean, you can also, like I said, if you want to, you can you can add the equal signs and things like that. But like I said, I don't, I don't find always find that necessary, guys. Okay. So if you want to do, let's see, add a subheading, uh, equal like that. Then you just duplicate that. All right, so that's that. We have everything that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and um download this so we see what it looks like. All right, so down. So you, let me do that again so you can make sure you were paying attention. You go go to the share button over here. Download. You want to change this file type right here, okay? To PDF print. You're gonna do all your pages that you have in your download. Now press download. Okay, it says my download is completed, so I'm going to go over to my download folder. Hold up, yeah. And there'll be a lot going on on this computer over here, yeah. <laughs> all right, it should be whatever I did today. Here it is, Valentine's Savings, all right. Open it up. See what we're working with. Okay, so this. Yeah, I'll see. Gotta just do that. Up, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Where am I? Okay. There we go. Okay, so this this is the A6, okay, that we made. All right. And then this is the A5 that we just made. All right. So there you go. And you just add the scratch. If you want to make it a scratch and save, just add the stickers to it. But you can, you know, sell it as a rolling save, guys, okay? 
So those are your two Valentine's Day challenges. Easy peasy. So now you can save for Valentine's Day. So uh, like I said, I am uh, done with this video, guys. Um, I haven't decided if this is going to be the actual freebie I'm going to go with. But I mean, it look all right. All right. <laughs> so this might be my next freebie in my shop for um, people that meet the um, the order quota or whatnot. Or, or we'll see. Okay. But like I said, th this is how you make a, a free challenge with free Canva elements, okay? All right, like I said, for personal use only. Like I said, I, if I, I wouldn't sell this, okay? Because I don't sell stuff for free elements. I don't think you should either, okay? It's just not, you know, because like I said, people can do this themselves, guys, all right? But um, I am done here, so this is the, um, it for today. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, go ahead and um, give me a thumbs up, all right? Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share the video and uh, watch the ads, guys. Okay, and, and that's it. All right, so I'm out of here. You guys enjoy your day. Happy Friday. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye.